I'm Charles Reed. I'm a resident of Allegheny County. I apologize for being late, um, so I may be only repeating what's been said. I certainly agree with uh, the former gentleman's comments, but I did address a letter to each of you. And I thought if it would be all right, I'd like to read that a slightly omitted version uh, that I made just a bit shorter, if that would be okay. Um, Dear Commissioners, I'd like to respond to the February 4th County Commissioners Board meeting as covered by the Allegheny News. A resolution was proposed that we as a county declare firm opposition to measures that limit which guns we can legally own. Also states we should oppose extreme background checks. I own an old 22 rifle, single shot, that I've had since I was a boy. Not much of a firearm by most standards. Uh, but I sure enjoyed shooting tin cans and practicing my aim. Now I rarely shoot a gun, but I have good friends that are hunters, and I think guns are an important part of our nation's traditions. And I agree a gun can be pretty viable to protect our homes, although a shotgun is probably the best. But this proposed resolution is troubling to me. It implies we're so fearful and angry that if the federal government passes any further gun legislation, no matter how sensible, it infringes on our constitutional rights. So my grandmother would say that's hogwash. The resolution also implies it's our God-given right to own and use any weapon we want. Please consider that we can't legally own rocket-propelled grenade launchers, operational howitzers, or M1 Abrams tanks for obvious reasons. So why should we legally own weapons that can kill dozens in a matter of minutes? I live on the side of a knoll. Our house has two bullet marks on the outer basement walls, one on each end. I'm sure some people from at least a half a mile away hit us by accident, probably on separate occasions. But it gave me reason to pause. Extreme background checks, yes, I sure hope so. I hope anyone who can shoot or kill me from a mile away is highly and thoroughly checked for mental stability and criminal behavior before purchasing a gun. And I think this is where I agree with our previous speaker. As individuals, we can obviously express our opinions to Congress anytime. This is a very emotional issue, and I don't think a county resolution is appropriate. It doesn't represent my opinion or that of many others in our county and across this great land. In fact, surveys indicate 80% of Americans want restrictions on owning assault weapons. So I urge our commissioners to let the resolution die. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Want to